joy it is to be here tonight. Sat there and listened to all of these words. I'm just impacted by the presence of the Lord and the memories. I give honor to all of these great leaders who I revere and love so much. Um, tonight, I sat there, Pastor C, and I thought about the days when I would be sitting in my house, my phone would ring. JJ, Bishop Bogan, meet, 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 meet me at Cracker Barrel in 20 minutes. I said, Bishop, I can't get to Flint in 20 minutes. I'm, I'm going to be in Bridgeport. He would come and sit there and say, now nah, tell me how it's going. Tell me how you're doing. Because he knows that the relationship that we had went back in the 60s when Big Mother Sunshine Band took care of all of us District 10 children. My father was YPWW president of District Number 10. The church was in the garage. Sometime they would show up at the house, Bishop White, at 10 o'clock at night. There were six children in the house. My father was, couldn't work anymore because he was asthmatic and rheumatoid, as with arthritis. The saints would bring bags of groceries at 10 o'clock at night. And then they would cook a full meal and eat at 10 o'clock at night, make a fresh pot of coffee, and then talk about Jesus until the sun came up because they loved one another. My first opportunity to sing in jurisdictional meeting, Brother Bogan, my father was the bishop. I was 13 years old. Bishop Brooks, put the microphone in front of me and said, sing that song we practiced. I looked over there, Bishop Hill was in the Oregon area. I sung, They Shall Be Mine, Columbus Man. I'll never forget that, because those were days when people cared. I'll never forget, I was sitting there thinking about Mother Bogan the night that I came here for Walter for a memorial service and I couldn't come in. I stood there and I couldn't come in because people didn't know that I'd have a nine, at 8 o'clock service and then at 9 o'clock I'd get in my car and I would drive to Flint every Sunday and I'd go in the office in those days and we would pray together. 
I would do what I could to pray for him and anoint Bishop Boke. And then he'd say, now you go and preach. I couldn't walk in. And I promise you, if Mother Bogan, if you hadn't come back there and grabbed me by my hand and walked me in, I probably would have stayed out there. So I look at this tonight. And I know what I'm supposed to do. I got a few minutes. But my father and mother, I saw a vision of them sitting on this bench, looking out a window. And they were looking at the great things that God had done through their work. And the bishop could look through the ether and just see what we're doing here, this fellowship, this friendship, this love. That's a little praise that says, Now I know that thou favorest me. You wouldn't let my enemies triumph over me I could think he would say now I know when I look at this that thy favor is me mm, you would let my enemies triumph over me it's a simple song triumph over me over me you would lend my enemies you got water Coleman you got water you got water do y'all know what he meant by that triumph over me mm -hmm. triumph over over me thank you Jesus Lord I thank you through my struggle and trials, through my heartache and pain, didn't understand me sometimes, but you wouldn't let my enemies triumph over me. Now I know that thou favorest me. You wouldn't let my enemies Say with me now, I know now that the favor is a favor. You wouldn't let oh, oh, triumph. Oh. Anybody got that testimony? Now I know now I that the favor is me. They talked of bombing and lying, but you know. Triumph over me. Somebody help me see. Now I know. Oh, 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 you know. Triumph over me. I say, Triumph over me. Triumph. If you feel like justifying, you can keep on going. Triumph over me. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, no. Triumph. You wouldn't, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't mind. Talked about me. They lied.
tell him thank you. Somebody tell him thank you. If there is a testimony, you're the testimony. God's favor is there. The Lord blessed us to record. Richard Bogan had told me, he said, Jay, you're going to do things you don't think you're going to do. So we have a project, and I can't sing all the songs on it. Can't even sing a whole one. But I want to share something with you. Because thank God for good friends. I called my good friend, Pastor Rudolph Stanfield. And I said, we have gotten to the place where we don't sing old songs that much anymore. We don't sing hymns that much anymore. I said, but the Lord had blessed me, put something in my heart, and I just need you to help me. Can I have about three more minutes? I am thine, O oh Lord. I have heard thy voice, and it told thy love to me. And I love to rest in the arms of love and be close search wrong to thee draw me nearer nearer blessed to the cross where thou hast died Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to the precious. Mm -mm -mm. Wonder if anybody hear what I'm saying? To I can find a place all by myself where there is nobody else in your pressure. Oh, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide. To that precious place. Say, like anybody want to go to that place where you can lean and depend on him, Jesus? To don't you want to go there? Well, he'll wipe away your tears and he'll take away your fears. And is there anybody want to go to it? To your precious, precious, and you just. Let him hear what it sound like to go in the secret place. Please. 